Marastola needs no introduction. With an immense career spanning 40 years in the food industry, she's paved way for young writers in South Africa. She's released a book titled 40 Years of Iconic Food, which is part memoir and part recipe archive. The book tells a remarkable story of her food journey. Thank you very much for making time to talk to us this morning. Many know you as Medora Stoller from True Love, the cooking editor, the food editor rather. Mm -hmm. But where did this journey start for you? Well, it started at the Kent Food Advisory Service, where I work as a, worked as a home economist. Ah, that was like 40 years, because I'm celebrating 40 years of my journey in food. So it started 40 years ago, exactly to 2020. I started in 19... And yeah, that's how it started. Um, it was also quite a coincidence. It, it's not something that I planned, but I was looking for a job because I was working for a research company. And then when I found the job at Kent with a virus service to be a home economist, and that's where everything started. Okay, and back at home, your childhood, who were you in the whole family? Were you known as the cook, or was it something that developed after you got the job at Canned Food uh, Advisory? Um, when I got the job at Canned Food Advisory, I was already married. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, at home, <laughs> I don't think I was known as a cook or someone. Yep. Food was not a main thing. My mother was a, an amazing dressmaker. And so she was always at her sewing machine, so I had to help her with the pots. But it wasn't really like something we took seriously. As much as I knew I loved cooking, but um, I only got to really get into it when I started working and I'd buy the ingredients myself and test out the recipes. Okay, and back then, like I said, you were the food editor for True Love magazine. and. It was very white dominated and you introduced the African food and people got to know of African food and they loved it. How was it back then working in a very white dominated industry? I came into this world which was like I'm um, being drummed to love and city press. It was predominantly black really, the stuff. But I mean we belonged to Media 24 which is predominantly white. But then I really... Um, I found it quite um, interesting because I came from corporate, which was predominantly white. So coming into this world was quite interesting for me to work with black colleagues, like lots of them. And um, True Love didn't have a strong cooking section then. So my job really joining True Love was to create that section. And I must say, um, I just put in Western recipes for quite a long time in my pages until one day I was like, wait a minute, um, African food can just not be just a theme for once a year, you know, it's got to feature quite strongly in, in, in the pages. And then that's when I also like um, came up with the idea to do cooking from Cape to Cairo. Mm, and I'd say that it grew uh, in popularity because you later opened a cook, cooking lessons for people that were interested in acquiring that skills. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk us through those lessons that you offered for all the women that were interested in cooking? Yeah, that was amazing. Those were awesome years. You know, when I joined, um, starting the cook, cooking section also meant starting the True Love Demonstration Kitchen. So... Um, our readers used to come for free. They didn't have to pay for the cooking demonstrations. And wow, it was amazing. It used to get packed, packed. People didn't even mind sitting on the floor or standing. It was just amazing. It was quite awesome. And yeah, and then we moved to Sentin. When we moved to Sentin, we then had a new uh, kitchen where people would now do hands-on cooking. You know, in, in when we were still in town in Ilof Street, it was more demonstrations. But then when we moved to Sentin, then we did hands-on classes, and those used to be so popular and just so amazing. And Ma, for someone who is so well-traveled, I get that you travel to Japan and all of those countries, you think that you'd introduce the international style of how people cook, but you're so rooted to the African cuisines. Why so? I just believe that if we don't um, honor our own cuisine and put it on a pedestal, no one else will, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I just felt like we need to really, not just even just South African food, even the continent, you know. 
Um, so I tried that that through the pages of True Love magazine, I introduced them to food just all over Africa. And then you lay, you decided in 2012, I think, mm -hmm. that you were going to take an early retirement. Why so? And what have you been busy with of late? Um, I took early retirement because it was, I think it was about time because um, like the three years, my last three years at True Love, I was there for 25 years, but the last three years I was the editor. Mm -hmm. And I really missed food, you know. I loved steering the magazine. I really just um, loved the adrenaline that came with that. But then, I mean, I am a foodie. <laughs> so I just felt I needed to go back to food. And I've been working from home um, with quite amazing clients. So I do recipe developing. I do food styling. And then from time to time, I'll do cooking workshops. Yeah, like maybe cooking schools and um, sometimes TV. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to move on to where you are now, the book, of course, and 40 years in the industry. Let's talk about the origin of this book and why you felt now it's the right time for you to put together a cooking book and obviously give it out there to all your fans. Um, I've got to... It came to Cairo, I actually... This was first Skype to Cairo, which had 19 countries, and then I traveled to some more, then there were more countries. Mm. So I got two Cape, cooking from Cape to Cairo books. But then those are just on African cuisine. So I really, really felt like I needed to do a cookbook that had food from, you know, the food that represents me, because it's a whole spectra, you know, I don't just only cook African food and also I've traveled and learned a lot because mm -hmm. I always try that whichever country I visit, I'll do cooking classes and make sure that I come back knowing more. So, like I said, when, when we started that I, I, I'm now 40 years in this industry, mm -hmm. I felt, okay, what kind of book can I bring out? And I said, okay, let me for, uh, celebrate my 40 years in the industry. So it's really like a celebration of my 40 years in food, but then also just bringing in everything that I, you know, that I know about food. Because I mean, as I said, I don't only cook African cuisine, but I've traveled through the world. I've seen a whole lot of more cooks that are developing, especially on social media. I think they're food foodies or food influencers. What's your take on them? I think it's, it's amazing because, you know, there was a time when I felt like I was just like a lonely voice, you know, mm -hmm. just me alone. And I was like, wow, you know, and people didn't take food as a serious career then. I think we we're like, wow, what, who are you and what are you about, you know? Mm -hmm. But now, all of a sudden, people do realize that food can be a career, food can be, you can monetize it, you know? So uh, I'm quite excited to just see. It's almost like it's something that I was working towards, yes, that people yes. should take uh, mm -hmm. the food industry serious. People should, should start cooking more and putting our food out there. So that's exactly what's happening. And um, I'm quite happy with it. Your children and grandchildren, who takes after you in the kitchen? Who's the cook um, of the family now? <laughs> I think Pumi, my daughter, uh, the youngest, She's quite a, a, an amazing cook. Medora's Tolish cuisines are still trending to this date. She has made it her mission to keep these traditions alive. Cooking came naturally for her as she quickly prepared one of her easy-to-make favorite meals. The spices makes the difference. All right, thank you. And it's all in my book. <laughs> 40 years of cooking of iconic food. Thanks, thanks for coming, eh? <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.